Patrick? Hey, what's up, Garrett? Where is the picture puzzle, Patrick? Oh, oh, wait, what? Where, we need the picture puzzle. <laughs> picture we puzzle. need to go back to the main building, first floor, double doors. Shit. Oh, man. I actually am redoing, replaying this on my Dreamcast. I actually just got it up. Uh, I'm picture not that far into it, though. Oh, shit. Uh, picture, picture puzzle. Oh well, uh, Patrick, we'll figure it out eventually. How can we help you, sir? Yep. Um, I was wondering if you guys could uh talk about something controversial. Uh, I remember. Uh, I love last controversy. Pod last podcast, you guys were uh, gonna talk about Eagles of Death Metal, the whole Paris thing, but uh, yeah. you guys kind of. Well, I guess you got sidetracked or something. I was wondering. What yeah, you guys think yeah, we did mention at the top of the podcast we would talk about that. I mean, it's a horrible tragedy. I saw Vice, yeah. uh, my buddy Mauricio sent a, the Vice interview. Today, yeah. You watched that today too? Yeah. yeah. yeah that, Rocco, you watched that? It was fucking heavy. It was really hard to watch for being at work. Um, I had to wait till I went on a break to watch the whole thing, but yeah, uh, crazy to hear their side of the story, like what happened. Um, yeah. It was odd when the news was coming out because like all all i saw was like news and twitter like getting names of shit wrong like a death metal show yeah like, it's like oh it's a i heard it's oh yeah it's a blue grass band or even something. on the morning radio the next day it's like oh well what do you expect for going to a death metal concert and it's like uh no guys yeah man i mean yeah the, the weird i don't i know this might sound kind of shallow but when i heard i actually haven't listened to them before that happened and i checked out their stuff and oh my god i'm Shocked that I didn't hear them before. They're really fucking good. It's weird that this uh, tragedy is, has like opened up uh, a lot of fans to them, though. That is true, and that's yeah. that's just a fact of life, and that's weird, but that definitely has happened. Like, I'm gonna check them out. I don't. I didn't really know about. Yeah, them. it's interesting. It, it's really interesting because the most I knew of them was I, I follow loosely like stuff Josh Homme does, but I really like. The stuff he did in Queens of Stone Age, and, and Rocco's a real big Queens of Stone Age fan, and you and Eric are really into the Boots Electric stuff and, and uh, Eagles of Death Metal, and you just went a couple months ago to an Eagles of Death Metal concert. Was it this same tour? Yeah, same tour. Same tour that you guys were at. It's just this is, a, this is the leg of it where they're in Paris. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that is fucking crazy. Really crazy. Yeah. They said that they're going to tour again. What I'm wondering is if the... Uh... If Josh is actually going to be on the tour because of the whole incident, he's got Yes, I believe... It, Rocco, do you know more of that? He goes kind of when it's convenient, basically. He's got a lot of other he stuff. He when I saw them. Yeah, he just wasn't in Paris for that. Yeah, he, didn't, he doesn't go... He didn't really go... Over but I have a feeling now, because of this incident, they're going to be touring together uh, to finish this tour, I think. Did you, uh, I don't know if you heard or some, what they said, but... Uh, they did say they are finishing this tour. They're, yeah, they're going to finish the show. And they want to go back to Paris yeah, first. Yeah, they want to they play that venue. He, the first, they the want to be the first to be back in that venue, which I think would be uh, really cool. Yeah. yeah. I was, like, crying watching that interview at work because, like, jeez, these yeah. guys... Are, I mean, you I, see the emotion on them because I really started thinking about it. It's like... They know that the people, the 80-some people that died in that theater were there to fucking pay money to see them. They're, yeah. they're their fans. That's crazy. It's like, like, that's the last thing that some of those people ever heard, too. I mean, yeah. Kiss the Devil was the last Well, when you song. hear the fucking uh, explanation of them being locked down inside the band's dressing room and hiding, and then the gunmen made their way in there and killed everyone except for one person... And they were worried at one point that, like, because the water was rising, and it kind of washed some yeah. blood out of the room, and they were worried they would attract the, uh, More people? That yeah, was another was, room. Was there were several, there were several groups kind of trapped in, in different rooms, and who knows, I mean, who knows the gruesome stories of people that there was no one to witness what happened, because everyone's dead. I mean, yeah. it was, and, and, and check out, I mean, a lot of people have their thoughts about Vice. I don't have a problem with Vice Network, but... Check out their uh, interview. If you can sit down and take some time to watch it if you're interested, it, it's pretty heavy. But to really find out kind of from their first point perspective what happened there, uh, it's really scary. One thing I'm surprised about too is how little video of that, that came out. I mean, there's the one clip that you see, but like, you know how people are today holding up fucking tablets. Well, that just goes dope. to show you Eagles of Death Metal fans are cool as fuck because they're actually there enjoying <laughs> the concert and not having their phones in their hand.
Yeah, I, I, I went to see. Like I, I just uh, me and my girlfriend went to go see Skinny Puppy last Friday, and there were so many fucking idiots in front of us with their goddamn phones up in the air. Yeah, you know that didn't happen when we saw Eagles. Death Mode. It was like, it was, it was, it was in my field of view. It was pissing me off so much. That was like it was Silent Hill. I, yeah, I, I really, when, when it comes to concerts and stuff, we everyone wants to cover. Everyone wants to commemorate a thing they think is cool. I have no, I don't think there's anything wrong with, hey, let me do a quick video, oh, let me do a quick picture, let me do, I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but I don't understand when it's the whole show. What, what, I, I are you, are you going to make a DVD of this later? <laughs> like, what, like, what, why the entire show? Going to, going to, we need I don't know. Show I, I'm just imagining only. right now some guy just, uh, just yeah, making hopefully. a rough cut, <laughs> like a 180p on YouTube of the full concert, and the audio sounds like it's in, like, some of those assholes. Yeah, especially yes. when they're holding it up and down. It sounds it's like, terrible. Uh, I don't think it's so I need, I need the keys to get into the fucking picture puzzle room. Alright, so you need keys. I don't have gold keys. Alright, let me go Google this. I'm way. looking right now. I'm looking at the one room I don't have open right there. That's where it is. So let's go behind the guillotine. I gotta go back out, and we can keep doing that. We're gonna keep doing it. But you know what I should do? Always remember to save. You want to save your game in case a stray bandersnatch comes up, grabs your face, a bat, could be a, a Cerberus. You don't know, a, a rogue Wesker could show up at any moment and fling fire. Yeah, what the fuck was that, that thing that attacked you, the giant melty face guy? I don't remember him from the game. Melty face guy? The, the one with one arm? The stretchy arms that was kicking your ass in the one room? The bandersnatch. That's a bandersnatch, that's a thing? Oh, it's yeah. got one arm, yeah. One thing about Wesker, did you hear about uh, in the new uh, version of Resident Evil Zero that you can replace, uh, the, the, you know, I remember, is it Billy Cohen? Billy Cohen, yeah. You can replace him with Wesker, you can play the game through... Why would you Rebecca, play with yeah, Rebecca and Rebecca Wesker? Chambers and Wes Wesker. But she, Wesker wasn't with her during that. It's new. It's a new mode that you can do. Makes no sense. That makes yeah. zero sense. Yeah. That's really weird. Um... <laughs> Patrick, I hope we got to everything you desired to get to. Yeah, I just want to say that I'm excited for Black Friday. I was there last year with uh, just waiting. That was amazing. So just Hopefully waiting. We'll you're saying you're saying waiting and watching the stream was fulfillment enough. No, think... just waiting. The DVD, Rocco's favorite. Uh... Oh, waiting. Still waiting. Still waiting. Sorry. Still waiting. Okay. Yes. So well, hey, nice. be prepared for even more. Uh treats and surprises on this year's Black Friday stream. Might be a little more enjoyable and still waiting. Oh, and one more thing before I go. Uh, is there any chance you guys would ever go to Phoenix Comic Con? Is there a chance we'd go to Phoenix? <clears throat> yeah, Rocco just volunteered me, so I apparently 100% confirmed. Uh, you know, there's... there's oh, we'd love to come to all of these cons, but it, it's... Typically, we're invited, or other than that, we're kind of like maxed out because we go to as many as we can. Do you go uninvited? Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. I can't speak for everyone. I don't know how the decisions get made, but like we go to a lot, and I know with my work schedule and stuff, I go to as many cons as I can, and I actually have to kind of dip out of certain ones throughout the year. Yeah, I understand, and you guys are a lot of really hard workers, and I, I'm proud to, I, I really like to say to people, hey, Mega64 is the one people that are sort of. Indie, I guess. Like they do everything. Well, if we're else. yeah, we're we are indie. Fuck you. How's that? Fuck yeah. you. That's uh, right. Tell works. everyone we're the most punk rock internet group out there. We've been indie. We're supported by the fans. Is that indie? Is that independent? Does that I count? Guess so. Whatever. <laughs> I, I, what I was saying is that you guys are like you guys are like, 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 We don't have like, any corporations yeah. hanging over our heads. We could say foul language we could say things like shits and pussy wussies fucking bugger yeah we'll talk about uh where the clit is i don't even care find him and fuck him yeah oh, well we don't derek that's his realm oh <clears throat> yeah but it's great talking to you guys and well uh, have a great night thank you very much <laughs> thank you for calling in patrick what a good call what a great call with that, that was a good